Hello there. Welcome to our daily manna. Let us pray. Our, our most gracious God, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Father God, for this day, for another day that we listen to your word, to reflect to your word, O God. May you remind us this word today, O God. Be with us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. If you have your Bible, please open with me in 1 John chapter 3, verses 1 to 3. 1 John chapter 3, verses 1 to 3. See how great a love the Father has bestowed on us, that we would be called children of God, and such we are. For this reason, the world does not know us, because it did know, not know Him. Beloved, now we are children of God, and it has not appeared yet, has yet what we will be. We know that when He appears, we will be like Him, because we will see Him just as He is. And everyone who has this hope fixed on Him purifies Himself just as He is pure. May God bless us upon reading His Word. This passage, we see God's move and initiative for his people he desires to he desires them to be children of God when John the beloved emphasized in verses 1 how great a love the father has his bestowed on them and that they are saved by the grace of God so believers should have trust in the Lord because by that they would be called children of God. How amazing it is that it is a great benefit to the Christian and intensely, intensely look at the love of God on them. And they would be called children of God. The incredible love of the Father that He is given to them is a great gift that they actually need. At the same time, John told the believers that, he, that the world does not know them as a children of God because it, it, did, it did not know Him. When he hear that people, the believers of God, are really and should be different from the world. But there is hope that when Jesus would come back, we would be like Him. However, we are still here in this world. That means we are on the process of our sanctification. We are continually being changed by the Lord. So everyone who has this hope, everyone who has Jesus, must have a mindset that we are being purified by the Father just, just as the Father is pure. God's love is like a father who loves and bestows his children. Opportunity to be more and more like him. But you know, the world does not know this because some people do not know who God is in their life and they do not know that we are children of God. As believers of Christ, we know fully who God is in our life. In John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. We see here that those who believe in the begotten Son shall not perish. That means they have already, they already have the identity as children of God. Because God's love in verses 1, but again, it is not complete yet. That's why they are waiting for the return of Christ. Now while this is not happening yet, they should hold in hope in God. 
while they are waiting from that time, let us be pure as God is pure. If we notice, the author is encouraging his people to avoid doing bad things because if they are true child of God, they should be living a pure life, a life like Christ. In next verses, John said to avoid doing things that are not pleasing to God. Because if we continue to sin deliberately, even if we know Him already, it just means that they don't fully understood Christ yet. And His sacrifice means John is telling these things to the believers, not just to remind them, but to implore a sense of sincere action from the, the believers because they are children of God. So, why should the believers live in purity? The reason why believers should live in purity is because they are children of God and they are waiting for Christ to come. As a believers and children of God, we should live in purity while waiting for Christ. When God moves in our lives, He moves with love, guidance, and care. He saves us from our sins. And as a believer of Christ, we should build the relationship that we have in Him as a children of God. And as we live a life pleasing to Him, let us open our hearts and mind that as a children of God we should live in purity while waiting for him good day everyone that bless us all